Good morning, you guys, and happy Monday. So it's Moon Day, good day for setting new intentions. Um, this week we actually have a new moon in Leo, so I don't think I have said, which I'm pretty sure I haven't, happy birthday, Leo. It is Leo season. It's going down because, you know, Leos, they the life of the party. So I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm going to be doing videos by moon phase. I need to find some work life balance um for me being home and me doing this so we're gonna start this off today and we're talking about monday and tuesday and the moon will be in cancer for these next two days and it's in a waning crescent so with the waning crescent moon we're getting ready for the new in, the new moon getting ready to prepare for what is new coming up for us retreating going within seeing what needs to come up for review basically um really a time to detach from things so that we can see more clearly so the i am also going to talk about the planetary alignments that are happening right now during this phase so we have venus just moved into leo so this is very exuberant vivacious kind of beauty out there Seeing, being seen because of who you are, not because you're trying to be seen. That's one thing that people don't understand about Leo. They think they always looking for attention, but Leo does not look for attention. Leo gets attention, you know? So this is just a lot of extravagant values, possessions, extravagant sense of worth, very expressive and passionate and loud love, you know, generous giving and you're giving as your love language during this time so lots of joyous dates fun dates with your partner or just someone you're meeting um lots of big feelings adoration taking risks um this can bring either excitement or drama it just depends on you and where it is that you are in, on, on your journey you know um learning to focus more on just your learning to focus more on just other than yourself because that's one thing fire signs have an issue with is uh self selfishness they don't really project anything outward now this video might go over 10 minutes long and the rest will be posted on youtube i just wanted to say that so we have a sun uranus square this week so this can be bring about events that liberate you from expressing yourself in an old way that's no longer serving you that no longer makes you feel any comfortable that it's been bringing you some type of anxiety that you've been holding back you know this can be a change in your personality um to suit you better to where it is that you are um a quick movement and possible travel and getting all of those things done in a quick and electrifying fashion so we also have moon, the moon is opposite Saturn and Pluto. And this can create some distance in your relationships or it can bring a need for something um, that's been desired to take a little bit more time to time and a little bit more effort that needs to be placed in you know really uh, recognizing what that is um this is also transforming the way in which you see your childhood uh upbringing and healing that and bringing balance that allows balance to be brought to the present um we are also releasing preconceived burdens and responsibilities in our life and finding more ease and more flow within this this whole balance that's what oppositions bring it get presents the opportunity for balance so um this can also you know we first have to become aware of that and that is what the opposition does it brings about the instant the event so that things can come up and be rectified to bring the balance so this can also bring some type of conflict within your feminine relationships and also transformation within your feminine relationship. Just, you know, allowing what came up, what whatever your upbringing was when it came to relationships with women is now changing your relationships as an adult. You know, it, those things being healed are allowing you to have more prosperous, more abundant, more fruitful relationships with the women in your life or the women that you meet. 
Um, it can bring depressive, melancholic emotions and whatever strong feelings come up here. You know, make sure that you have people in your life that can hold space for you because that's important for us to express ourselves, for us to get these emotions out of us and hold space, not in the sense of trying to fix you, but just to listen to you, you know, because nobody needs to be fixed. We need to be heard. We, we desire to be seen, especially during this Leo season. So uh, this will also, this is a call to wait, make decisions when you're in a better state of mind. Things are being revealed so that old structures and karmic ways can be released. We have the moon conjunct Mercury retrograde. So this can bring back past emotional relationships that held strong bonds, especially those from childhood, again, or family that you haven't seen or talked to in a long time. It's a good time to write things that come up and share later if you wish, simply because the retrograde is going on. Um, you can find yourself having really nourishing conversations with women in your life, possibly about the past and how it's now affecting your present and your future. And you're also, we as a collective are very emotionally sensitive. So let's just try and take this time to be aware of our moods, especially with that moon opposition to Saturn and um, Pluto. So we are also having a time of high psychic sensitivity we're seeing we're seeing our alignment with the trends that is going on and um if not in tune with our personal trend our personal thing we have going on then we may align ourselves more to that you know and it's important to be aware of our psychic activity that's going on here because that can turn into paranoia which is it doesn't serve anyone around us uh sometimes we just need to take some time to stop and listen um so this could be a great time to show up in your home family things that bring you security your intentions um internal shifting and connecting to your psychic intuition um you may also feel very supported by other women in your mother, whoever it is that you choose to talk to, whoever it is that you choose to ask to hold space for you, you know, and we are acknowledging wounds held from relationships with our mother, with women, with the feminine, and um, we could be con con kind of confused and conflicted and seeing things from a higher perspective and understanding others' emotions um, more easily we can understand each other's emotions more if we have taken the time to face our wounds, to do our healing, to um, go within, to listen to ourselves, you know. And it's a good time to be more objective about our perceptions because it can be a lot of confusion. We have a moon sextile Neptune. So this can bring some illusions, some not seeing things clearly based off of being so excited in what it is that is going on right so we are working toward emotional freedom changes in our emotional emotions and our perceptions so that we can gain the emotional liberation it is that we need um we may have some chance encounters maybe need to make some quick decisions um and we need to listen to ourselves this is the psychic ability and listening to our intuition so all of this can bring warm and joy in our relationship, warmth and joy in our relationships. Um, we may be seen by others, which is something that's really important for us right now. Um, we may be comfortable being ourselves and teaching others to be in that same space or helping others be in that same space. Um, it's also a good time to not self-prescribe. So if you have something, because we're into alternative healing right now, right? So. Go see whoever it is you need to see to get that diagnosis. So then you can do whatever it is that you need to do for yourself. What is this? Hold on, please. Y'all, it was some crazy ass bug here. So this video is going to, I'm going to be posting two videos this, this morning. So I'm still talking about the astrology, the events of what's going down for us. So uh, we may also be having better relationships with ourselves, with our relationship with ourselves, um, and seeing what is needed if that is not already there. Um, whoa. Um, helping others also love themselves and helping them see the greatness that is within them, 
you know, and being unconditional and having a healthy sense of values, wealth, and possessions, right? So this is the first half. This is what we can be experiencing. I am now, I've already pulled the cards and I'll be right back.